learners i am your iot educator nishi so in the last video we discussed about combination reactions we also discussed about endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions so in this video let us try to understand decomposition reactions splitting up or breaking up of single reactants to form simpler compounds is decomposition reaction so in simple terms a single reactants will form two or more products in decomposition reaction let us try to understand decomposition reactions with the help of some examples but before we do that let us understand the three most important agents that are responsible for decomposition reaction these three agents are heat electricity and sunlight let us try to understand all the three agents one by one in detail with the help of examples let us first take heat so all those reactions which which take place with the help of heat are called as thermal reactions for example when calcium carbonate is heated it forms calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide calcium oxide is also called as quicklime we have seen the same example in the previous video as well another such example is when iron sulfate is heated it changes its color to light blue because of loss of water so the reaction that is taking place here is when iron sulfate is heated it forms iron oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide also there is release of a pungent smelling gas because of burning of sulfur what happens when lead nitrate is heated so when lead nitrate is heated it forms nitrogen dioxide lead oxide and oxygen nitrogen dioxide is an irritating gas with brown fumes so we have seen what happens when heat is involved in the reaction let us try to understand what happens when electricity is involved in the reaction so to understand that we perform a simple experiment so we take a plastic mug and dig and drilled two holes at the bottom of the mug and fitted it with two corks on the corks we fitted two glass electrodes cover these two glass electrodes with inverted glass test tubes now add water in the tube such that these two electrodes are completely immersed in water add few drops of sulfur in it pass electric current through the circuit and keep the circuit for few minutes after few minutes you will observe that bubbles are formed in the glass test tubes now what are these bubbles of so basically you must have known that when you pass current through water that is h2o its ions dissociate to form hydrogen ions and oxygen ions so the bubbles formed must be of hydrogen and oxygen but how can you test that to test that we take a burning match stick near the test tube so we cover the test tube with a thumb so that the gas could not release through the test tube now we bring the burning match stick uh, close to the first test tube so when you release your thumb you will see that the match stick burns in the presence of oxygen it burns vigorously so this indicates that the first test tube consists of oxygen now take the burning match stick near the second test tube when you release the gas from the second test tube by removing your thumb you will observe that the fire extinguishes with a pop sound this indicates that the second test tube consists of hydrogen now you must have observed that both these test tube consist of bubbles but the number of bubbles in one test tube is more than the number of bubbles in the other test tube why this is happening so you know that water contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen so for every atom of oxygen two atoms of oxygen are formed so basically if one bubble of oxygen is formed for that correspondingly two bubbles of hydrogen will be formed that is why you see that there are more bubbles in one test tube and less bubbles in the another test tube now that we have seen how electricity is involved in the reaction and what happens when electricity is passed through it let us try to understand the third agent which is sunlight for that let us take an example if you keep silver chloride in the presence of sunlight after few minutes you will observe that the white colored silver chloride gets converted into gray color so the reaction that is taking place here is silver chloride is decomposed into silver and chloride similarly if you place silver bromine in the presence of sunlight it decomposes into silver and bromine so both these reactions are used in black and white photography so you must have seen that all the decomposition reaction involves energy there is some form of energy involved in all such reactions 
So this type of reactions that is which involves energy are called as endothermic reactions. And as all the decomposition reaction involves one form of the energy or the another, therefore we call them endothermic reactions. So in the next video, we will discuss about the displacement reactions. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning.